First of all, congratulations on the movie. I really, really loved it. Um, and I have to start by asking what I think is the most important question, which is, what is your favorite Beanie Baby? <laughs> you know, I, I actually didn't collect Beanie Babies, um, but I think uh, Spot would be one for sure. Um, cause I just like, I like puppies and dogs and you know, that's probably one of my like favorite, if I had to pick one. No, I love that. That's a great choice. Um, I love how many sort of feminist period pieces you've been doing lately. Call Jane was one of my favorite movies of last year. Obviously Mrs. America. I'm curious what it is about these kind of projects that's really like drawing you to them right now. Oh, you know, I just love these characters. I mean, I think what's great about these is, um, these storylines for me is that are ultimately about women with a sense of agency that are sort of doing things for themselves that are not reliant on, you know, on the male characters. I think one of the themes of this movie is that Robbie felt like a supporting character in Ty's story. And that's a theme that you see, like literally the creators made this movie to um, investigate that idea, right? And I definitely feel like somebody, I mean, I'm a female actress who's come up through Hollywood. Like I've definitely had to play a lot of supporting roles, you know? Um, and I just feel like this is about women who broke out of that and, and created their own lane, their own story, took control of their life, you know, despite um, this huge personality that Ty Warner is and represents and still is to this day, you know, that they were able to carve out their own sense of self um, apart from him, I thought was really fascinating. Yeah. And you mentioned the directors and I always really enjoy the films that you direct. Obviously, this is their debut feature, but I'm curious if there's anything in their approach that you were like, I want to do that next time that I step behind the camera. You know, that's so interesting. You asked that because they um, Damien is obviously very musical um, and he loves to use rhythm as a directing tool. And I actually did learn a little bit about that. I was like, oh, that's an interesting approach. Might be something that I try someday. Yeah, I, I love that. There are just so many fun scenes in this movie, too. I feel like the drunk pool scene is going to stick with me. The kind of conspiring with Rose is going to stick with me. I'm curious what was the most fun to shoot for you? The pool scene, for sure. I, I bring it up all the time. I We shot it actually pretty early in the schedule. Um, and so... Um, you know, Zach and I, we had not really met until we started working on this movie together. And um, so we were two characters and two actors who were actually having to create this connection with each other. And I, I hate playing drunk people. It's always so scary as an actor. You never want to overdo it. It's always hard. And, and more than anything, I just wanted to be very carefree in the pool and working with Zach and um, Damien and Kristen allowed me to just do that and just play. I re we had a great sense of playfulness that night. Um, and I had one idea that they took to heart, which is that I really wanted him to be above me in the pool. And I was like, how are we going to figure this out? Is he going to be on a, you know, what are we going to do? And they came up with that floating chair for him to be on, <laughs> which I loved, you know, because that's their power dynamic begins in that pool, which is he is inviting her into something. It's, you know, it's his, Himalayan cats is his idea. And she doesn't recognize that she's not an equal in that relationship. And I, I loved exploring that I, in the physicality of it too. Yeah. I really, really love that detail. Um, I have to wrap, but it was so great getting to speak to you about this. And I'm so excited for everyone to see it. Thank you. 